All right, so the tree we're right here is, um, is one of the maples we have in the park. This is the red maple. One of the ways you can tell that is by looking at the petiole, which is the part of the leaf that attaches it to the stem of the plant, is a red color. Now, they're one of the earliest trees to, to have flowers in, is actually late winter and not in the spring, but the, uh, the, the wings on the seeds will be colored red. It has red leaves in the fall. So, you know, it's a, even, the, uh, even the, the, the scientific name refers to the red color in the tree. But um, you'll notice the shape of it as well. And this may be familiar to you that um, on the Canadian flag, you'll see the maple leaf. So this small tree here is called Devil's Walking Stick. You see all the thorns that are located along the, the trunk of the tree. And it has some very large compound leaves. This is where the petiole is attached to the stem. But you can see that it has some very large compound leaves on it. It will produce some flowers later in the year in berries and there's a lot of birds and are there creatures that like to feed on the berries? We're walking along the trail that connects the Cape Fear River Trail Park with the Dunn Irwin Rail Trail. Now along this trail you see a lot of towering pine trees and all of these trees are loblolly pines. They have uh, fairly long needles. And they grow to pretty good size, but it's, it's kind of neat to see all the towering pines along this section of the trail. This is a southern sugar maple. Um, one of the several species of maples in the maple family we have here in the park. Um, one of the neat things about this is that it has really pretty colors in the fall. You'll see reds and oranges and so forth. And yes, the, the sugar maples are the ones they, where they extract um, the, um, the, the uh, materials flowing up and render that down into maple syrup. This is the sugar maple. A little bit different and sort of whitish on the back of the leaf, and that's one way you can tell it from the red maple tree. We've got several of these tree identification markers within the park. Um, this one is of the pignut hickory, which has the compound leaves, but there's several along the trails as you walk here at the river park if you want to stop and learn a little bit more about some of the trees here in the park. So thanks for joining me today on our virtual nature hike at the Cape Fear River Trail Park.